But we start with the latest word on tragic breaking news. Five people shot and killed inside a bank this afternoon. And news since six, a Facebook user shared with us this video as a SWAT team took the suspect into custody shortly after ramming through the bank building to get his attention. But there are still a lot of unanswered questions about why this happened at a Sun Trust on US 27 in Sebring. That is about 70 miles south of Kissimmee in Highlands County. And that is where News 6's Eric Sandoval is live tonight working to get the latest details. Eric, what have you found out? Well, just to the left of me, Lisa, the FBI has sent out a mobile command unit to help Sebring and Highlands County Sheriff's investigators. They are still at work right now, as you can see here. They are trying to piece together what exactly happened this afternoon. Now, I want to show you the scene from uh, right around lunchtime today earlier. That's when Sebring Police Chief Carl Hoagland says the suspected gunman actually called dispatchers himself, telling them that he had fired shots inside this SunTrust bank. That is when a standoff started. Sebring police called in the Highlands County Sheriff's Office for help, and this is what the chief says happened next. Listen. While engaged in negotiations, I ordered or asked the sheriff to send in the tactical unit or their SWAT team in an attempt to recover potential victims and take the subject into custody. After an assessment of the scene, we were sorry to learn that we have at least five victims, people who were senselessly murdered as a result of his act in this bank. Now, once again, here is that cell phone video shot by Brandon Michael uh, of the sheriff's SWAT team taking that suspected gunman into custody this afternoon. We learned that suspect is 21-year-old Zephan Zaver. We found out he lives here in Sebring, and we checked uh, court records. We found no criminal history to speak of, but we do know that he has family members in Indiana. Now, we asked investigators uh, about a possible motive. Right now, they don't want to talk about a motive. They're also not releasing the names of the five victims who were shot and killed inside this bank this afternoon. As the evening goes on, we're going to be pushing to get those answers for you. We're going to be giving you updates all evening long on ClickOrlando.com and a full recap tonight on News 6 News at 11 o'clock. For now, we are live in Sebring. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6. Lisa? Eric, thank you.